Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Friday and I have your word for the day. There's an old story I heard long ago and I'm not sure if it's true, but I'm going to share it with you. Two twins, a brother and a sister, were very close. The brother became sick and needed a kidney transplant and they were small children. The parents let the sister decide if she wanted to voluntarily give her kidney to her brother so he could live. The sister thought about it and cheerfully agreed to donate a kidney to her brother. After the transplant took place, in the recovery room, the sister was in her bed and from her hospital bed, she looked over at her parents and asked, how long will it be until I die? See, the young girl misunderstood what was being asked of her and she was willing to exchange her life for her brother's life. Love compelled her to do something great. In Genesis 35, we see the deaths of Rachel and Isaac. Rachel died after giving birth to her final son, Benjamin, and Isaac died shortly after. Throughout the book of Genesis, from the time of the birth of Isaac and until his death, we see God's mighty hand at work in his life. Though he had some blunders, some mistakes, some flagrant sins, God's hand remained on Isaac and God used Isaac in a great way all the way up until his death. I want you to remember something. Our deaths are coming. But it's what we do between the time of our birth to the time of our death that will make an impact in this world long after we leave it. Is there somebody that you can demonstrate sacrificial love to today? Is there somebody that you can lend a helping hand to today? Maybe to show kindness to? If there is, put the phone down, put your computer on standby, and go make a difference by demonstrating the greatest sign that shows we are true followers of Jesus. Show somebody love today. Make a difference for all eternity by lovingly sacrificing and demonstrating care and concern for someone else and do it in an unexpected way. Do it in a way that requires sacrifice on your part and an unexpected blessing for them. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, apply it, and share it with somebody else. God bless.